the order following a hearing on a termination of a guardianship for a minor. Hi, I'm Darren Finling of the Probate Pro, and we're going to go over PC657. This is a SCAO form, State Court Administrative Office form for the State of Michigan, PC for Probate Court, Form 657. Remember, this is the order following the hearing. An order is the ruling of the court. A petition is what you use when you're seeking the request of the court to terminate a minor guardianship. This is not the same form for use in an adult guardianship. There's a separate scale form for that. So let's work our way through the document, the order following hearing to terminate minor guardianship. If you look at the bottom left corner, in purple, there is a yellow arrow that identifies the form number. This particular form was revised in August of 2024, replacing all earlier versions of the form. So please make sure that you use the correct form. You'll notice that the statutes and court rules that are relevant to this particular form are referenced there. At the top of the document, the county in which the guardianship is presiding is referenced in the top left corner and the judge as well as the case number in the top right corner the court address is listed and then in the matter of would be the name of the minor upon which the guardianship has been terminated the paragraph one provides that notice of hearing was given to or waived by the interested parties this is a ruling of the court to show that notice pursuant to michigan court rule has been provided to all appropriate parties and that the court has made the findings and conclusions of law on the record under paragraph two. Paragraph three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is really click boxes that allow you to use this form specific to the circumstances that have occurred in this particular matter. So in paragraph three, this would relate to a limited guardianship. So if your matter was not a limited guardianship, that area would be left blank. If it is a limited guardianship, it would be click. And then A provides that the parents of the minor has substantially complied with the limited guardianship placement plan, or B, they have or have not complied with the placement plan, but it is in the best interest of the minor that the guardianship be terminated or continued. So it gives the court the option to check those. Under four, if it's a full guardianship, this is the uh, provision that's clicked. And it provides that it's in the best interest of the minor that the guardianship be either continued or terminated. So remember, even if you file the petition to terminate the guardianship, in the event that the court rules against that petition, this same form would be used and the guardianship would be continued. On the other hand, if it's terminated, it would also be clicked under four under the termination section. Five provides for that the minor has resided for more than one year and the parents have not provided the minor with parental care, love, guidance, and attention. This is one of the statutory provisions for uh, termination or uh, the imposition of a guardianship. A substantial disruption of the parent-child relationship has resulted, and there is clear and convincing evidence, that's the burden, the standard that's required, that it is in the best interest of the minor to continue the guardianship. So this would be the section where the court is finding that the guardianship would continue. Court has previously entered a court order uh, continuing the guardianship for a period ex not exceeding one year from the date of the hearing. So essentially, this is a one-year rhythm. That would be for paragraph six. And in the event that the court wants to appoint either an attorney or a lawyer guardian ad litem, or GAL is another way we refer to guardian ad litem, to represent the minor should and whether it should be referred to the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. So again, that would be used if the court wants further investigation of this particular uh, uh, petition. Now, that top section relates to the findings of the court, and the findings are the, the uh, rulings or the findings of facts and conclusions of laws that have been made. The next section is the order, and remember the court speaks through its orders. So this is what is now being ordered by the court, and it's gonna be repetitive from the area above. Under paragraph eight, the guardianship is terminated, the letters of guardianship are canceled, and the guardian is discharged. That box would be checked in the event that the court has found that the guardianship should be concluded. Paragraph nine is if it should terminate within six months and it gives the court some flexibility to add some additional language about the reintegration of the minor into the home of the parent.
parent in the event that that is the set of circumstances that apply. Let's work our way onto page two of the document. It provides under paragraph 9C that the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services shall supervise the transition period and facilitate the in reintegration of the minor back into the parental home. This is part of the statutory basis for a limited guardianship um, and that the services that should be provided by MDHHS, which is the acronym for Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, shall include the following. There's a place for the court to identify uh, the particulars that the court would rule. Under paragraph 10, it allows the court continue the guardianship for a period of time or until further order of the court. It also gives some cl click boxes for whether there's going to be an existing limited guardianship plan, whether there's going to be a modified guardianship placement plan or a court structured plan. So it gives the court some flexibility to use this court order for a variety of circumstances that may occur. In paragraph 10B, there could be a review hearing that would be stated there. So if they're, if they're asking the parties to come back to court at a later date. Paragraph 11, again, provides for the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services to be involved, and it could nominate or identify, is a better way of stating it, an attorney who shall serve as either the attorney or the guardian ad litem by, as a lawyer to investigate within 21 days the petition that's been filed with the court Again, a place for the court to conduct a review hearing. Paragraph 12 provides that the guardianship shall continue for a period of one year. And again, this is just giving the court a lot of flexibility in the use of this a particular order for um, typical things that result following a petition to terminate a minor. And paragraph 13 is simply it's either denied on the merits or dismissed. So if the petition itself has been denied, or dismiss, the court can use paragraph 13. And then, of course, with all court orders, there's a judge's signature and date that would uh, indicate that the court has entered or signed this particular court order. At the Probate Pro, we are passionate about everything probate. If you've got questions about this particular form or any probate or trust related issue, visit us at theprobatepro.com or call us at 833 probate.